Hey fam, how y'all doing? So I am uh, serving it to you in the bedroom, okay? On the bed, right? Okay, I got me a little bit more memory around here. I'm kind of excited. Man, y'all like that. I bet be, be, be something else over here. It's been something else. Let me tell y'all what I, what I say. It's been something else. Because it seems like every single beginning of the springtime. Mm, good grapes. They're kind of like on the south side. But, you know, kind of tart. But I like mine's tart. You know what I'm saying? I love tart fruits. I like crunchy tart fruits. You know, I'm, I'm on another subject, y'all. I'm mad because I bought some nectarine. And they look like they were real. I like them real crunchy and and and, and, and tarty and sweet at the same time. And I uh, got home, it was just gone. I heard a lot of that vanishing phenomena type of stuff happening to me. I mean, it happens all the time. It's something I just get used to. You know what I'm saying? I've always experienced hauntings and things of that nature. I always have had trouble with uh, anything that's electrical or electronic, you know, you know, going in places and stuff and lights flickering and shit, you know. You know, I can almost cause my own lights to flicker, you know, back and forth. Now, what that shit is all about? I, I haven't found anybody yet who can tell me now. I've had a few people who said that they themselves have had those type of situations and stuff. But even they don't know what it is. And it's something about the beginning of spring. Uh, right at the beginning of spring, mid-spring, which it ain't quite there yet. But it's almost like the beginning. I have trouble with all of my electrical equipment. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Um, other folks be fine. I never will forget um, when I got my first uh, desktop computer, I had trouble with it. I mean, it didn't last me no time. I went through computers like crazy. You know, refrigerators, stoves, and washers, and, you know, and it just, it, it never ends. I was shocked that my, um, uh, I got a Samsung computer, computer laptop. I've had so many. I've had so many laptops. Let me think, the Lenovo's, uh, Compaq's, and HP's, you name it. You heard that tapping? And uh, when I got that Samsung, I was shocked that it lasts me so long. And it's still lasting now. I rarely get on it. You know what I'm saying? It can use some, some more memory, which I uh, took just about everything off of it. And, and everything is on a, a external hard drive and stuff. But I can do a little bit of something on it. But I got that in 2011 and I still have it. It shocked me that I was able to keep it that long. Um, I don't really necessarily look at TV because if I start, if I try to get on and watch TV regularly, eventually the TV will get, something just goes wrong with it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know what it is. Especially when those big old box style te TVs came out, man. I mean, we went through that like within a year. You know, so I have to always make sure I get warranties on my electronics. And so, um, I this the, even this Android and everything, I got I got a chance to show it to you all the seventeen inch because I wanted to. Y'all heard that town. Though the, the what whatever it is, they damage they damage my equipment and uh, even to the day, like they said, the psychic blind to her own life, blind to my own life, y'all. Even to the day, I haven't really gotten anyone yet. I haven't spoken to anyone yet that can, 
you know, kind of like just break this thing down in detail. What is going on? Why I have the clicking noises in my devices? Because eventually they will damage them and tear them up. Because you got to realize, you got to see this right here for what it is. These spirits need electricity and energy in order to be able to communicate. And they they have a habit of damaging my devices. Uh, and then at the same time, too, you know, some people, you know, some people, especially trolls who are on different frequencies, you know, they should even be here. They think it's a joke when you, you, you say, hey, you, you, you can enter ent onto another frequency from frequency waves coming from your electronics, whether they be tablets or laptops cell phones and TVs, you know, they're, they're throwing out frequencies. You know, if we were able to see a, a good little portion of what was is really in this, in what you call empty space, you will see that <laughs> there's nothing actually empty about it, that there's a lot of activity going on that you can't witness, you can't see it, you can't feel it. You know, you got different frequencies coming from all over the place bombarding you you know what i'm saying and spirits and spirit communication that you can't hear that you can't see you see what i'm saying there is something taking up that space and you uh, 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 uh some people have the ability to ride the frequencies okay they can actually ride the frequencies to other you know uh uh places okay just depending on how that person is vibrating you you know at the moment you see what i'm saying so yes your laptop you know you know long ago they used to make the movies and some people still think like that that you know you know they needed a machine and you step in the machine and it will teleport you to a different time or, or place you know what i'm saying um you know, they show that and everything, you know, where this person will be disassembled in the, the machine and reassembled, you know, disassembled in the year 1977 and reassembled in the year, you know what I'm saying, 3006, you know, and stuff like that. Uh, but, but, but but what they don't realize is that, you know, they, they, there will never be a, ma a machine of that nature but the time machine is here because your time the time machine is your cell phone it is your laptop it is your tablet it is the tv that's the actual time machine right there cuz you can you know uh, uh go to a lot of different places lots of people are not able to ride the frequency to those places because you know most people who actually um you know, experience a lot of OBEs or do astro travel or whatever y'all want to call it, you know, have the ability to ride, once again, those vehicles to other, you know, dimensions. And it's true because I myself have done it. Like I say, y'all keep your dreads. Don't be cutting your dreadlocks off. You understand? There's a lot of power in these dreads. I mean, now for myself, I can say that personally because before the dreadlocks, you know what I'm saying? When I had to relax on my head or whatever, I never had any of these experiences. Never. I was just going to sleep, having dreams, and I would be just like the trolls. You know, this is ridiculous what this woman is talking about. And then guess what? I had my aha moment. Uh, so anyways, um, so this, this I'm on the time machine right now. The 17 inch Android. This is the time machine. This is the actual tool that will connect people of many dimensions with me. There's going to come a time. And I know for sure some some of these people are not in the same dimension as, as as we are. I mean, this is the honest truth. And you're still communicating with people. I mean, and you are really communicating with people that are not really 
they're not going to be like you can physically get to them. You know what I'm saying? No telling who you, 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 you're going back and forth with on social media. I mean, the, po the possibilities are endless. Eventually, they may just come out with some type of dev app or device where you can communicate with people that are on the other side or in uh, uh, on a whole nother channel, you know, so to speak. So I won't have to keep saying dimensions, 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 you know. And people who are not on this frequency will be able to kind of connect. And so you got to realize frequencies are just like, they're just like your TV channels, you know. You know, whereas you may have the do-it-yourself channel, you know, people, you know, uh, that are into um, fixing up homes. And then you got your makeup channel where you got people who are actually showing you how to add eyelashes and lipstick or whatever. They're, they're on different frequencies. The two of them really have no interest in each other. And they, 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 there's nothing there. They're not able to channel each other because, you know, there's nothing interesting uh, in the two parties, uh, neither of the two have interest in whatever they do. In other words, what I'm saying. So that's what I mean a lot of the times when I'm talking about frequencies and frequencies. I mean, you know, if you don't get it, it's cause the frequency is not there. So don't push it, you know, just get in where you fit in. But anyways, um, let me straighten up a little, uh, a uh, lappy. My, no, 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 <laughs> not my lappy, but my, um, uh, my Android. So, you know, in other words, so what I'm saying is this. So I do have the ability to, you know, uh, hitch a ride on these frequencies and I'm somewhere else. So give you an example. You know, you can, you can actually invite something that you're watching while you're resting into your astral scape. So like if you go to sleep, you're listening to a, a horror movie. You're not looking because your eyes are closed. You either slip, sleep, or drifting off. And whatever is on that particular um, device, you can hear it, and you can you, you you can actually travel to wherever that area is. You know, so you wouldn't want to go to sleep. You know, and uh, you you're listening to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. You know. Because guess what? You know, you have just invited him into your astral scape. And the astral world is, the astral world is real. Okay? That is a real world, believe it or not. And to some extent in the astral world, some of that you're actually creating it, that, that scape yourself. Or inviting something into that scape. You understand that you that that that's unwanted, something that you don't want, you wouldn't want to come there, cause it may just you know terrify you. You know what I'm saying, and frighten you to death. That's why you find a lot of people dead in their sleep. So I'm saying all of this because um, you know that's that's me giving some explanations for as to why I say hey I went on a travel, you know. And, you know, my devices are getting damaged. I mean, it's actually harming my devices. Um, a lot of people say, well, remove them out of your room and stuff like that. I mean, it's so deep. I would actually have to... Uh, Y'all know those big, huge-looking, mosquito-looking thingies that are out in the uh, early part uh, or the beginning of spring, spring or approaching spring? They usually fly, you know, they, they'll get in your house and fly around. I was just looking at one that just flew down there to the floor. But anyways, so, um, it, it, it affects my, all of my equipment, y'all. And it's frustrating. I had that issue last year. Remember when I told y'all that, uh, I actually had my cell phone with me during a travel. I just woke up in a place and. My cell phone was with me and my bag was with me and every the way everything was arranged in that bag here on this side, it was ex the same exact way. It was arranged there. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm like, yeah, this is really my bag. I got my phone and everything and I was like trying to turn the device on. I said, I'm going to turn this device on because I want to make photos so I can upload it. I want my family to be able to see what I see. Cause I was like going descending down this hill 
and everything and there were houses everywhere but the sky was kind of different from our sky you know all day long it looks like you know that look like when it's going from like you know from from dawn to day you know sort of look kind of dayish and little little bit of nightish a little bit you know because you could tell that the sun is coming up but it looked like that all day long you know what i'm saying in this particular place so uh, i was taking photos of it and stuff and i was really excited and i said well let me come on and let me wake up i got some evidence and when i woke up i noticed that my phone looked like it was half dead when i say wake up when i say wake up I'm, I'm, i really mean entering back into my body you know, because I'm always up. So, dang. So, I've been messing with my flames. So, anyways, um, so what I did, I got back and my phone looked like it was dying. I hooked it up. When I hooked it up, it just said, and the screen just was like, it looked like something was frying inside of it. But it stopped and everything. I was like, okay. You know, I did recover some footage and everything, you know. But it just turned off. And it never would charge back up again. So I didn't get a chance to go and look into the uh, device to see what I had uh, recorded. Because the phone just went out and it never was I able to charge it up. So they sent me another phone and I be goddamn, if that motherfucker ain't doing the same goddamn thing. Meanwhile, yes, I do ride the waves um, to other time uh, appears in that phone too. And now it's gotten to the point it won't charge, you know. And uh, uh, so it takes a nose die as soon as you get on it. I'm like the same goddamn problem. Oh my goodness. Again, again, and again. Poor reception out here. It's just, it's, I've been having some electronical issues y'all and the clicking and the tapping and the click click and the tap tap it's just all over the house it's in this device it's in the, the it's on it's on the tv um they've been um tapping in the back room back there they've been just tapping everywhere just having a good time anything with like a the that favor sort of like a once a, I again a scrying mirror or something of that nature you best better believe they going in there. They going to go in there and do what the hell they want to do in there. But I, you know, I don't, I, I mean, I, 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 I'm not frightened of them. I'm, I'm even, I feel even comforted by it when I hear them because I, I know that the spirit is with me. Yes. May the force be with me. The force is with me. So, you know, I, you know, it is like I say, comforting to hear the clicks and the taps and stuff like that. Um, so, uh, y'all, look. I just don't know what this is. Now, y'all know I had told y'all that I had done travel to one little place. And the lady got small with me. And I told y'all about the time that I traveled. I was like on the border of other dimensions. I wish I had another name for it. Please help me, y'all. Put something in the comments. Something I can... T uh, Call it besides dimensions. You know what I'm saying? And besides timelines. Because I don't think they're, they are what they are. I just I just know that there are layers and layers and layers and layers and layers of other worlds stacked up in one big book and in one space. But I was actually, one time I told you I was traveling and I was like actually in the water, actually peering through and it sort of, I felt like a spy, like I was in a submarine or something and I could look and see all the borders and, and uh, the, the people protecting their borders as I was, what you know, surfing, I guess, uh, in my submarine tank or something like that because, you know, there were like lots and lots of people at the borders. Like, you know, when I said lots and lots of people, I remember one guy was on like a, it looked like a stand-up motorboat or something where he can stand up and stuff like that and ride. It was pretty big. There were other men that looked like soldiers and stuff like that. And they had, you know, the rifles and stuff like that. I wasn't intimidated because they couldn't, they couldn't see me, but they wouldn't allow me into, there was no way for me to get into the dimension or anything. You know what I'm saying? And I went to about four to five of them 
if I'm not mistaken, where there were people of different races, you know, patrolling their borders and uh, preventing me from going in there. But they I, they couldn't see me. But you know how that is, how they protect, you know, how people protect their borders and stuff like that. Okay, but I say about four weeks ago, I had an encounter. And remember, remember, I don't know if I told you all about this video, but I did have a video where I was telling you all, you know, I was kind of concerned because I had stopped traveling uh, during an E-Face moon uh, of 15% to 25%. But because the beginning of this month, I didn't even travel during a crescent moon. I actually tra did most of my traveling during the full moon, but it's, it's something I want to share. These are two separate uh, uh, travels because I had told y'all I said I wanted to talk about it and everything so I'm gonna talk about it my videos are so informal they're just like me I, I just like to call them you know um uh, just um it, well it's not a rant or anything like that uh this is just a, a, a variety of things you know what I'm saying the gumbo videos you know but anyways, uh, that, in this video for right now, you know, I, I, I do a variety of videos for different people and stuff. Because some people want to see the hobby farm. Some people want to hear about the travel. Some people, everybody want to hear about something different because uh, just about everybody who views me, um, who are friends and family, you know, can relate to some of what I do because you do them yourselves. You know, like hobby farming and you're into all of that good stuff, you know, and some people are traveling and you name it. So, I didn't get a chance to talk to you all about this, but remember I told you I was at the table with that other lady that had the yellow eyes, eyes were yellow, and she had the thin, thin, blonde haircut, short style, that told me that if I keep coming there and everything, you know, um, I was gonna, you know, I, I wouldn't live by the weekend or something, that lived on the little quad. Well, then, and I told y'all that I saw her again. She was actually in my kitchen and everything, making coffee and stuff like that, you know. And it it, it is scary because I remember my client, you know, had started having other beings uh, uh, uh invading his astral scape, you know. And a lot of people can't relate to this, right? And see, I'm having trouble with this uh thing now. Now, I don't know if it's going to show you all. But you can see it dimming and flickering on, flickering off, flickering, kind of dimming. But it may not show up when it's uploaded to YouTube. But I've been having like a lot of mad crap going on with these electronics, honey. And uh, so, hmm, I'm going to have to put y'all in another room. But anyways, y'all let me know if y'all can see that dimming and everything too. Let me know. It's been this this thing. It'll just come on. Say for instance, I'm I'm asleep or whatever. It'll just come on by itself. They love this device, this Android. It'll come on by itself, and then it'll just go to different sites. And I wake up. It's it's gone to a site that it wants to go to, or you know, I wake up and find out it has turned itself on and. It's a, a, a video or something like that. It's going to YouTube or something like that. And it's watching a certain video. That's how I stumbled on the fa. You know. Um, the, <laughs> you know. I, because I really wasn't. You know. Going in any direction. Uh, uh, of any kind of. You know. West African practices or anything like that. But then. And I woke up. And it was on the fa. And, and, and it, it started clicking. Like. Yeah. Yeah. This we want you to see. And so I have been researching it. And I, I've, fallen, I've fallen in love with it. And I've been um, actually paying more attention to any clicks or sounds. Because they, they it's not like it's just random. It's not like it's co coincidental. It actually um, is relevant. Okay, so... Mm, my, it's, it seems like it's flicking on and off. The light is kind of... Doing that, kind of like that. I doubt if it shows up on YouTube. I doubt it, uh, if it does. But I'm at the table again with another woman, y'all. At the table with another woman. She was a short lady and she was Caucasian, kind of plump. She had like curly 
blondish brownish hair but it was not it was like wavy style kind of like you know what i'm saying almost like shirley temple curls or something like you know what we call shirley temple curl and i was sitting there at the table with her she had all her papers and documents and shit and i'm like i'm at the same goddamn table again different woman this time because the last time i was at that table it was looked like it was night shift it was you could tell it was night. This time it was daytime. Same place, different woman. And I'm like wondering why I'm always at the table with these women. This woman right here, her eyes looked sort of like Gaddy's eyes. There weren't any white, just all blue. The white part of her eye was all blue on both sides. Okay. Um, there was no pupil that I could see of just, and, but I noticed that this particular eye, which is my right eye, cause I don't know what the way you all going to see it once it's uploading it with the right eye was a powder, powder blue, almost white, light blue and this side, dark blue. And she had her little papers and stuff. And I'm going to tell you what this bitch said. So I'm sitting there and shit and, uh. I know, all I can say is I know I was asking her question. That all I can say is I know. But I can't recall what I asked her. Let me tell you what she said. I'm afraid if you keep coming here, we're going to have to erase your memory. That's exactly what she said. We're going to have to erase your memory. And sure enough, she did because I cannot remember I know I asked some questions, but I can't remember asking questions. And whatever I asked her, she actually erased my memory. I'm going to tell you what else she did. See what I'm saying? So you got to watch this shit because they have the ability to insert shit in there and take shit out. Now, for the trolls, I know y'all going to get a nice little laugh out of that. But you gonna have your aha moment if you're making fun of anybody on social media who are having these encounters that you may call mental illnesses or whatever because you believe only entirely in in science and that's it. You understand? And you don't realize that nothing about this world can totally be explained. That that there there is there are some things that are a phenomena that cannot and, and extraordinaries that cannot be explained or debunked or debunk. <laughs> but anyway, so so you're gonna you're gonna have to be punished for that because of, the, of we are having real life true experiences. We're not just sitting here making this up. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not, I wish I was brilliant enough to make up this. I would be making book. I would be, I would be writing books and shit, man. And, 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 and movies and plays and shit. Uh, anyway, they can do that. Look, let me, let me give y'all an idea of she, she did. She erased my memory. I remember having this intense fear when she threatened me. And I got to tell y'all about the next travel after this one. I remember having such an intense fear when she said that, dang, I wish I can do this all in once. And I said, let me hurry up and get back to my body because, you know, I was just really afraid that I was going to be here on my side with, with an actually no, no mind, no mind, no nothing. And she erased my whole entire hard drive to this particular dimension. And I'm just here, just a shell with nothing. So I was so frightened I had to hurry up and travel back. Let me come back and tell you all about my second travel this month, okay? I'll be back. Bye-bye.